Is everyone new to meditation? Okay, cool. I actually love meditation. I, I find that especially during this quarantine time, it's, you know, you have so much going on through your minds and, you know, it's good. To, it's so important to just be still and really focus and super calming. So I want to do a positive affirmation meditation. And what I love about affirmation is that you, I give you a mantra and you repeat it to yourself. And these mantras are pretty much universal. So, you know, being at home, not being able to see your friends or family or going out in general, it's pretty normal to have these feelings come in where you're putting yourself down, you're not feeling too confident. So something I found that has worked for me and my clients is this affirmation meditation. So what we're gonna do is really begin Find a nice, comfortable, seated position wherever you are. So if you have a cushion, if you don't have a cushion, sit on a pillow. And it doesn't matter how you're seated. As long as you're comfortable and you're, the pain of your body does not get in the way of your meditation. So maybe crisscross your legs, bring your legs out in front of you, bring your hips on your heels. And most importantly, make sure your spine is straight. Your shoulders are relaxed and the crown of your head is reaching the ceiling. Now let's take a few moments getting involved with your breath. Inhale, taking a deep breath in and then exhaling out. And to really get involved with meditation. You really want to focus on your breath. Really let go of any thoughts feelings or sensations that were going on in your minds prior to this. Just start to notice the physical sensations of your breath. As you inhale in, notice your belly rise and your chest fall. You could even place your palm on your chest and your belly. And then as you exhale out, feel your belly move behind your spine and your chest rise. And just do this for a couple of moments. Inhale, your belly rise. Exhale, your belly moves into your spine. And all sorts of thoughts and feelings will try to come into the mind during this time. But the, the best thing you could do to prep for meditation is just to come back to your breath. Noticing your belly and your chest like this wave-like action as you inhale in and exhale out. Good. Inhale, taking a deep breath in, raising your belly up. Exhale, your belly behind your spine. We'll take a second or two more, a moment or two more. Maybe notice your shoulders subtly rise and fall as you inhale in and then exhale out. And just notice how your breath sounds, how your breath feels. With each inhalation you take and exhalation out, you begin to wow, relax your body and your mind just a little bit more. Know that the space is yours for healing, for serenity, for relaxation. Take one more deep breath in, exhaling out. And then we'll start to bring some positive affirmations to repeat to yourself. And you're welcome to repeat these affirmations or mantras Whenever you feel down or frustrated, deep breath in, exhale out. Now let's inhale in all together internally. I am doing my best. Exhale out. Inhale into yourself, moving with your breath. I am doing my best. Exhaling out. And repeating that mantra to yourself, I am doing my best. And then exhaling out. And you are doing your best. 
you're keeping calm and serene and busy while we're all home dealing with this pandemic. Never put yourselves down. Inhale in, I am doing my best. Exhaling out. And then one more time, really letting the words become absorbed in your system. Inhale in, I am doing my best. Exhaling out. And then inhaling in, I choose to be happy and to love myself today. And then exhale, breathing out. Inhale in, I choose to be happy and to love myself today. Exhaling out. Inhale and I choose to be happy and to love myself today. Exhale, breathing out. And repeat that to yourself a couple more times. Inhale and I choose to be happy and love myself today. Exhale, breathing everything out. Inhale in one last time, really feeling the words become absorbed within your system. I choose to be happy and to love myself today. Exhaling out. And then coming back to your breath, giving your mind, your body, and your soul to absorb the positive mantras that we just repeated. Notice if you feel a bit more uplifting prior than prior to the mantras. Beautiful, the breath has so much power. Know that each time you inhale in, you're absorbing positive energy. And as you exhale out, you're releasing negative energy. And then inhale in, my possibilities are endless. Exhale, and release any negative energy that gets in the way of that mantra. Inhale in, my possibilities are endless. Exhaling out. Inhale in fully, my possibilities are endless. Exhaling out. And take a few more times repeating internally just noticing how you feel in this space, in this moment. Inhaling in, my possibilities are endless. Exhaling everything out. Inhaling in, my possibilities are endless. Exhaling out. And then take a couple more breaths. Just noted, noticing these positive transformations going on within your body, your mind. Knowing that whatever you're repeating to yourself is true. You're, you are doing your best. You are going to be happy and love yourself. And your possibilities are endless. And then inhale in, I am worthy. Exhale, let it go. Inhale in, I am worthy. Exhale out, let it go. Inhale in, I am worthy. Exhale out, let it all go. And then inhale in by saying you're worthy on the inside truly believe that you are worthy. When you say something internally, you begin to believe it. So inhale and I am worthy. Exhale everything out. Inhale and I am worthy. Exhale everything out. Take a few more moments just repeating, I am worthy. And then exhaling out. Inhaling in, I am worthy. And then exhaling out. And then coming back to your breath. Just clearing your mind, only focusing on your breath. 
Noticing how you feel. Maybe inhaling one last time, I am worthy. Exhaling out, beautiful. And then inhaling in, I am brave, bold, and beautiful, which we all so very much are. And then exhaling out. Inhaling in, I am brave. All in one breath, I am bold and I am beautiful. And then exhaling, releasing everything out. Inhaling in, I am brave, I am bold, and I am beautiful. And perhaps holding your breath, letting the words, I am brave, I am bold, and I am beautiful, absorb within your system. And then exhaling out. And then repeating those words to yourself. Inhaling in, I am brave, I am bold and beautiful. And then exhale, release any negative energy that gets in the way of these beautiful positive affirmations. And take a few moments to just inhale in. I am brave, bold, and beautiful. Exhaling everything out. Inhale in, I am brave, bold, and beautiful. Exhaling everything out. Just taking a few more moments to inhale in, breathing those words in just a little bit more. Inhaling in, I am brave. I am bold and I am beautiful. Exhaling everything out. And then just come back to your breath. Just noticing any uplifting spirits in your body and your mind. Notice if you feel more uplifted Know that you should always believe the words that you tell yourself. Repeating everything we said, you are worthy. You are going to be happy and love yourself today. You are doing your best. And you surely are brave, bold, and beautiful. And take a few moments to just breathe in and out. Focusing on nothing but your breath and the sensations going on within your body and your mind, perhaps noticing a smile come to your face, meaning that you are believing what you are repeating internally. And then breathing in the mantra, I am talented and intelligent. Exhaling everything out. Inhaling in, I am talented and I am intelligent. And then exhale, breathing everything out. And then inhaling in, I am talented and intelligent. And pausing at your inhalation, repeating the words, letting it absorb in your system. I am talented and intelligent. And then exhaling everything out. And then repeating that mantra. Remember, you're always welcome to come back to any of the mantras that we repeated earlier. If any of them speak to you. But if not, inhale the words, I am talented and intelligent. And then exhaling everything out. And then inhaling in, I am talented and I am intelligent. And then exhaling everything out, beautiful. Inhaling in one last time, really 
feeling when you repeat, I am talented and intelligent. And then exhaling out. And then take a few more moments to just realize how you feel. Taking a few more deep breaths in and out. Feeling your breath move up and down. And just notice if your spirits have been uplifted. Breathing in. And then exhaling out. And then we'll move on to the next mantra. Remember knowing that they're all so different and unique, but they're all made up of positivity. And they all have a love, a loving sense. Inhale in, I am free of worry and regret. And then exhale, breathing everything out. And then inhaling in, I am free of worthy worry and regret. Exhaling out. Repeating this a few more times because we should be free of worry and regret. Life is too short and fragile to always have regrets and to always worry. Know that you won't have regrets. You'll live life and you'll choose, like you said before, to be happy, to love yourself today, and to know that your possibilities are endless. And by that, you are free of worry and regret. Beautiful. A couple more deep breaths in and out. Inhale, I am free of worry and regret. Exhaling everything out. And then take a few more moments repeating this mantra in. Each of the mantras, like I said we did earlier, connect with this mantra. Inhaling in, I am free of worry and regret. We're all too precious, beautiful souls to live with worry and regret. And then come back to your breath, trying not to think of any thoughts going into your body and your mind. And just noticing how you feel in this moment. Good. Beautiful. Allowing the music to relax you on this path of reality. And then wherever we're ready, let's let the next positive mantra enter our system. Inhale in, I am proud of myself, as you should be now and always. And then exhaling out. Inhale in, I am proud of myself. Exhaling everything out. Inhale in, I am proud of myself. Exhaling everything out. And as you keep inhaling in a little bit more with each inhalation, notice your breath allowing you to become even more proud of yourself than you were before you entered this virtual sacred space. Inhale in, I am proud of myself. Exhaling out. And then take a few moments to really think about. It's not enough to just repeat the mantras, but truly think about why you're proud of yourself. Think of one thing you've done recently. Maybe you made somebody happy today. And then inhale in, I am proud of myself for doing whatever it is you did. Let's say like I made somebody happy on the phone. I am proud of myself for 
making somebody happy on the phone today. And that second part of the mantra is personal to you. And take a few moments to do this exercise. Inhale in, I am proud of myself for whatever it is you did. And maybe you need a little bit more time to truly think about and realize why you're proud of yourself. But maybe if you can't think of anything, maybe just feel proud for being you. Sometimes that's enough. I am proud of myself for being me. Take a few more moments thinking about this mantra meditation. Good. Breathing in and out. And then whenever you're ready, come back to your breath, giving yourself a break from all thoughts. And then inhale in. I am becoming more confident every day. Exhaling out. And how do you believe you're becoming more confident each day? Keep internally repeating this to yourself. Think about all the things you've accomplished up to this very moment. And this will truly help you believe how you're becoming more confident every day. Inhaling in once again, I am becoming more confident every day. And then exhaling out. Inhale in, I am becoming more confident every day. And then finally realize how you're doing this. Good. And take a few moments, letting the music relax you. Thinking about this for yourself. And then come back to your breaths. Maybe you need a little bit more time. So not only repeat that you're becoming confident, because when you repeat it, you believe it, but also sit, think about why you're becoming confident. I've been packed in everyone's lives through teaching yoga, anything in that realm. And then coming back to your breath absorbing yourself, your thoughts, your feelings and emotions in this virtual sacred space. And then whenever you're ready, we'll repeat the last mantra. And we'll spend a lot of time on this because everything we repeated is uplifting us. It's who we really are. We just haven't seen it yet. Or maybe we have. But the most important thing in life is being grateful. Inhale, repeat one last time. I am grateful for all that I have. Exhaling out. Inhaling in, I am grateful for all that I have. Exhaling out. And then inhale in, I am grateful for all that I have. And then exhaling out. And then thinking about for a moment what you have in your life that has made you grateful. Maybe your friends, your family, having a roof over your head being able to give back to the community, 
or supply your body with beautiful nutrients. Just think about, repeat, inhale in, I am grateful for all that I have. Exhaling out. And then coming back to your breath. As we prep for the return phase, but before we do that, just think about one of the mantras we stated during this practice that you enjoyed. And know that you could come back to that mantra and that action whenever you need to. And then from here, just focus on your breath. Inhaling up and down. Just filling your space, your mind, your body with no words, just sensations. Allowing, just like the beginning of class, your mind to be focused on the rise and fall of your belly and your chest during this breath. Beautiful. And once again, maybe before we awaken and rise into the return phase of our meditation practice, maybe one of the mantras did speak out to you and you'll work on making that part of your daily routine. Beautiful. And then inhale, take a deep breath in. Inhaling in forcefully, exhaling. And then slowly keeping your eyes closed, start to move your body. Come back to being you. And then open your eyes whenever you're ready. Make sure your body is nice and awake, along with your breath. Maybe you need to take a few more rapid deep breaths. Just use the next moment or so to wake yourself up in a way that feels good for you. And once you open your eyes, look at the collective colors around the room. Maybe think about one way that you'll follow up with your mantras when you leave the space today. And then slowly opening your eyes once you do, taking the room around you, focusing on all the shapes, the colors, and everything going on in the room. And by bringing color visualization and shape visualization back into our mind and our body, we're bringing ourselves out of this meditative space. And take one more deep breath in. Exhale out. Waking yourself up a bit more. And now if everyone is awake, hopefully you are, hopefully you feel refreshed and revitalized. Please share your thoughts and your feelings with how the practice made you feel, if you wish. If anyone has any feedback, questions, or concerns about the practice, please let me know. I'm so happy to have been able to share this practice with you. Uh, if anyone needs me to email me these mantras, these affirmations, so you could repeat it on your own terms, please let me know in the chat box and I'll be happy to email them to you. If anyone's interested in following up, following up with me, I'll put my website down here. And I have, there we go. Cool. All right, Silvana, I'll definitely email you. But definitely I have my website, Stamaste, and you're welcome to email me if you want distance Reiki, if you want one-on-one -on -one meditation, 
one-on-one -on -one virtual yoga. I have a lot of courses for meditation and the chakras that I offer. So once again, one of the benefits of being online is that I get to email you at, all at once. So I'll just write my website if you haven't seen it before one more time. It's Stama Stay like Nama Stay. My name is Stacy, so like Stacy Nama Stay. And yeah, if you gave me your email, I'll be happy to email you the affirmations for you to repeat to yourself, as well as my website. And definitely check me out. I'd love to hear from you. Does anyone have any more questions or concerns or feedback? Anything? Um, I, I have one thing to share. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I love the part that you said, um, I'm doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. I'm always, um, aligned to that. I think it's a great message. And I always yeah. add a little thing to it. I'm doing the best I can with the tools that I have. Perfect. Yeah. Not only because I think it's good for us, but also mm -hmm. for challenging people in our lives, family members, loved ones to put it on them. They're doing the best they can with the tools that they have. I think that's really helpful. And that's why during the pot, the app from the mantras, I, you know, I wanted everyone to, you know, repeat, I am grateful for all that I have, but that's different for everyone. Absolutely. Just really fine tuning in and focusing on why you're grateful, what you're grateful for, what you're doing the best you can with, and just repeating those mantras and pairing it with a thought that you're currently going through is something that has personally helped me when it comes to positive affirmation meditation. So thank you for your thoughts. Does anyone have any other thoughts before we follow up? Did everyone get my website if they want to email me about anything? Cool. Any more questions? I don't want to leave here without knowing that somebody had a question. There was one question in the chat box. I don't know if you already addressed, uh, addressed that. Ooh, I see it now. From Jay? Um, yes. Um, I am free of worry and distress. I think, Jay, do you hear me? Just type if you hear me. Um, I think, are those, um, affirmations that you created for yourself? You could definitely type again. Or, um, I think that's great. I think, like I said, if that is something you repeated to yourself, what's good about the positive affirmation meditation or any affirmation meditation is that it doesn't have to be something you follow. I just have a list of universal mantras that you could sort of pair with your own. But if there's anything you're going through that you want to make a mantra of, um, you could create. I'm talking about the affirmation you suggested that had negative words. Um, which one in particular, in particular would you say? Because I don't, I don't remember it now myself. Oh, I am free of worry and distress. Um, they definitely should have positives, but, and that's what I thought. I thought the same thing as you. Um, but my meditation guide, she basically told me you could, by putting something like I am free of worry and distress, it's basically allowing you to say I am free of that. So in other words, that could be more positive versus negative. Does that make sense? You basically, with this mantra meditation, when you say it, you believe it. So if I had a bad body image, I wouldn't negate those thoughts. I'd say, I'm never going to think that I have a bad body image. It's all about being honest with yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. Any other questions? 
Well, thank you so much, Stacy, for your time this morning and for leading us through that beautiful practice. Such a great way for me to start my morning and others, depending where you are, your afternoon, your evening. Definitely, yeah. And I hope to do a few more events like this. I could definitely email you. And once again, check out my website. I have tons of resources to help you get through everyday life. And thank you so much. I really enjoyed this. Have a great day. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thank you.